Hello, I'm Victoria Sarvati, and today I'm going to be talking about the snake, or in Hebrew, the Nachash. We look in Genesis 3 and we see the mentioning of a snake in the Garden of Eden. But as a Western thinker, thinker, as an English speaker, we have a hard time jumping over the fact that there's a talking snake in the garden. But what we don't realize is that this word in Hebrew, nachash, doesn't mean a reptile. It actually means a cunning one. It's idiomatic for a, a deceiver or an enchanter. If we go to Ezekiel 28, starting with verse 12, we see that there was this beautiful creature in the garden. It was a cherub, and it was made of beautiful stones like emeralds and diamonds and rubies and onyx and, and beryl and topaz, which were the, were, were the covering of, the, of its skin, and that its tabrets and its pipes were beautiful and melodic, and they were there from the very foundation of the world. The, the description goes on to say that this creature was a cherub that was in the, the, uh, the garden of God, Eden, but it was also in the, the holy place where the, the holy fires were, where the presence of God was. And so this cherub, when iniquity was found in it, was cast out of the presence of God and was now placed in the garden of Eden. There he meets Adam and Eve. And when Eve sees this creature, she wasn't looking at a reptile that was curled around the limb. She was looking at a gorgeous creature that says, did God say you can't eat of any of these trees? And she said, well, no, God said that we, we can eat of every tree except for this one, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And then the snake, the cunning one, the enchanter, the one that was the deceiver said, well, the reason he doesn't want you to eat from this tree is because if you do, then you'll be just like him. You will be able to decide what's right and what's wrong, what's good and what's evil. Why would you need to go in the garden and walk with God every, every evening and, and find his wisdom and understand how he walks? You could do this on your own. You could be your own boss. You could be your own God. And of course, this was very inviting, and she was probably extremely mesmerized by this beautiful creature. And so she went ahead and ate of that tree, wanting to have this beauty, wanting to have this ability to choose between right and wrong and not depend on God. Of course, Adam did the very same thing whenever uh, Eve showed him the fruit as well. So they both were in agreement to be like this angel, be like this beautiful creature, make their own choices and not depend on God's wisdom. It was then that their glory left them, that they were chased out of the garden, and now we have to, to depend on God's perfect plan of redemption through his Messiah. Thanks, and we'll talk about this more soon. Shalom.